The Catholic Church has been facing mounting pressure to take responsibility for its role in Canada's residential school system. And today, Pope Francis broke his silence, saying he's pained by the discovery of unmarked graves at a former residential school in Kamloops, B.C. He offered prayers and sympathy, but no formal apology, something many Indigenous Canadians and even the Prime Minister have been calling for. David Aiken has our top story tonight. As a Catholic... On Friday, Canada's Catholic Prime Minister had a message for his church. It's going to be a really important moment for all of us, particularly Catholics across the country, uh, to reach out uh, in our local parishes, to reach out to bishops and cardinals, uh, and uh, make it clear that we expect the church uh, to take up and uh, step up and take responsibility uh, for its role in this. On Sunday at the Vatican, Pope Francis responded. De la Camlops Indian Residential School in the province of the Columba Britannica. Francis said he was pained to learn of the Camloops discovery and urged Canadian political and Catholic leaders to, quote, cooperate with determination. But he did not offer an apology on behalf of the church or indicate one was being considered. And he was silent on demands in Canada for the release of documents about residential school children the church is believed to be holding. Getting access to those documents was a key aim of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. It is also a sad commentary on the lack of the commitment by the Catholic Church to allow us to uh, investigate this further. Moreover, Roman Catholic entities have also paid only $3.7 million of the $25 million they were to pay as part of a settlement agreement. The peace of the Lord be with you all. But in Toronto, Archbishop Thomas Cardinal Collins pushed back on Trudeau's comments and called them unhelpful. I think it'd be very good, instead of making these remarks, which are really quite unfair, uh, I would say let Mr. Trudeau and, and his representatives work together with us. We're trying to do that. Collins also said any Catholic entities withholding documents should promptly release them. And at a special mass for those who died and were abused at residential schools, Collins did read an excerpt from a 1991 apology offered by the Obelates, the Catholic order that operated the Kamloops Residential School. We wish to apologize in a very particular way for the instances of physical and sexual abuse that occurred in those schools. Still, many Canadian politicians and Indigenous leaders are calling for more from the Catholic Church and are expected to press the Church in the days ahead. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa. Hundreds of people marched through Toronto today to honour the 215 children found in unmarked graves in B.C. and to demand justice. For more reaction to the Pope's comments, we're joined by Paul Johnson. He's in Kamloops, B.C. for us tonight. Paul, has the Tecumlips to Shwet First Nation responded? Farah, we are not expecting a reaction to the Pope's comments this weekend. I talked to a spokesperson for the Tekemloops to Shwepnik First Nation, and they say they're expecting to put out their next news release early this coming week. So if there's going to be a reaction to those comments from the Vatican, we'll look for it then. We did talk to some Indigenous people in Kamloops today who told us, sure, if the Pope were to apologize about residential schools in Canada, that would be better than nothing. But their sense also seems to be an institution like the Catholic Church is a very remote thing. It's never been a positive force in their lives. So there's really nothing the Pope could say that could change that. What was meaningful to some we spoke with was what non-Indigenous British Columbians did this weekend. A 250 truck convoy that traveled across the interior of BC to Kamloops Sunday and a motorcycle rally that came through here. Here were some of the voices from that. We stand in solidarity with the First Nations and we hear them loud and clear. Now it's time for Canada to hear them loud and clear. And I think it's really important that the Canadian First Nations uh, across Canada understand that we stand here in solidarity and we support you. And we're sorry it took so long, but we're here now and we support the investigation of all of the residential schools uh, nationwide. So looking forward, the Tekemloops to Shwetmik First Nation say they expect that they're going to be releasing some of the technical details about this discovery later this month. Farah? 
Paul Johnson in Kamloops, BC. Thank you, Paul.